Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We are back here in the Washington Commanders franchise. Week number two is upon us, and we got to go to Denver. We got to travel to Mile High to take on Russell Wilson and the Broncos this week. So as we said in the last video at the end of week number one, this is a absolute must win week for us here. You look at the schedule ahead. We got Buffalo next week, and then we got to go to Philly in week number four. If we do not get the dub this week, we could easily be staring at an 0-4 start to this season. Now, I don't know what's going to happen if we go 0-4. Do we start looking at selling off some pieces? I mean, we got guys like Chase Young who on the final year of his deal, do you trade him? Do we get Ron Rivera up out of here? I don't know what we're going to do yet. I'm just focusing on week number two and hoping to God that we catch a dub this week. But on a positive note, we do got a breakout scenario this week. So let's take a look at this, see who we got coming up. It is Cody Barton, our middle linebacker. Okay, so we need to uh, we need to get this done with him for sure. We, this is the guy that we use her an absolute ton. So if we can get a dev upgrade for him, that would be absolutely phenomenal. So we need to hold the Broncos to less than 250 total yards or get Cody Barton one plus interception, force fumble, TFL, or sack. We, th this is feasible. With a linebacker, this shouldn't be too difficult. Like I said, we use her a ton. A TFL should be in play, you would think. We also got a couple of pretty big upgrades here this week. Emmanuel Forbes and Jamin Davis. These are two guys we'd love to see catching the upgrades here. So we're going to go man-to-man -man scheme fit. For Emmanuel Forbes is going to put him up to 78 overall. We're going to get a plus one to acceleration, plus one awareness, and plus two to man coverage. We're going to hit the scheme fit as well for Jamin Davis. Going to put him up to 77 overall. Now we're going to get a plus three to awareness and plus one to zone coverage. Nice upgrades. We'll take that. The plus three to awareness should be nice. Like I said, he is currently our best linebacker. We got him at star dev. If we can get Cody Barton to star dev as well, that would be absolutely phenomenal. So I wanted to come in here and take a look at the contract situation of some of the guys on our team. If we do start out terribly here, one thing I noticed is we've got a ton of guys in the final year of their deal here, including our top three defensive ends. So I don't know. We got Smith Williams that's on the final year. Montez Sweat's on the final year. Chase Young is on the final year. Do we look to send one of these guys away? Chase Young would probably be that guy for me if we do end up putting somebody on the trade block for the simple fact that he is younger than everybody else and he is going to fetch the most in trade value. But then you're also looking at somebody like Kendall Fuller, 28 years old, veteran cornerback here. He is currently our number one. Will he be for long? Probably not. I got a feeling Emmanuel Fords will be able to take over that role in the near future, but Kendall Fuller, is look, he's somebody that we can look to package and move on. And then we look at somebody like Curtis Samuel in the final year of his deal, one of the you know many undersized receivers we have on this roster. Do you look to move somebody like him? Possibly draft a big body receiver in the draft to kind of pair him up with Dotson and McLaurin, give us that size option. I don't know, that's, we got a ton of options here we could look to move on from. Now, one of the things I was considering, if we are going to end up buying at some point in this year, we want to upgrade the tight end position. That's something I'm pretty big on doing here. I want to get a legit weapon at the tight end spot for Sam Howe or whoever we draft in the future. And there's some guys on the trade block right now that I have a lot of interest in. You look at a guy like Isaiah Likely from Baltimore. Obviously, they got Mark Andrews there, so Likely, he's got a ton of upside. I know they like him in real life, but they do have him on the trade block here. Do we take a stab at a guy like him? He's 23 years old, six foot four. He's got a ton of ability. He's somebody I would definitely consider. We got Jake Ferguson out of Dallas. I know they really like him. He's playing really well in real life as well. Kind of touched out pass in week two for them. Colby Parkinson in Seattle. They've got Will Disley there. Parkinson's young, 24 years old. We've also got Tommy Trimble out of Carolina, 23. We got a ton of options here at tight end. Harrison Bryant, this is another guy I really like. So I would not be against going after a guy like Harrison Bryant. He was terrific in college. He just, it really hasn't had his chance to shine in the NFL yet. He's kind of buried on the depth chart a little bit, but he's one of those guys we can go get him. He'd be a legit weapon for us in the passing game. So let me know in the comments what y'all are thinking. If we're going to end up going on a bit of a losing streak here, should we start selling guys like Chase Young? Do we consider buying low on some of these tight ends right here for the future development of our quarterbacks? I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all are thinking about that. I'm not really sure which direction I want to go yet, but over the next couple of weeks, we're going to find out pretty quick which direction we got to go. Before we hop into this game, though, we did make a couple of adjustments on the sliders here. As y'all can see, CPU, we left the accuracy alone at 45. We turned the wide receiver catching for the CPU down to 46 just to see if we can get some drops in the game because God knows it hadn't been there. And then the injury slider, we turned it down. It was set at 25. We turned it down to 20. We saw a ton of injuries in the first week, really throughout preseason as well. See if that can kind of uh, 
negate some of the multiple injuries we're catching throughout a game. So let's get after it. Week two, man, this is a big one. We absolutely need to go get this win. I don't know if we can do it. Denver's offense is pretty potent if Russell Wilson is on his game. Can our defense hold up? I think so. I think the defensive line should be able to get enough pressure on Russell Wilson. The Denver offensive line is not terrific by any means, so we should be able to get this one done as long as I don't turn the ball over an absolute ton, which we did in the first week. All right, here we go. Defense on the field first. Russell Wilson and the Broncos coming out here. Javante Williams is a guy I am worried about on this offense today. It's a good stop on first down, though. Quickly into a third and long situation for the Broncos. Can we get a stop? Somebody's got to make a play. There we go. That is absolutely beautiful. Great defense to start this game here. Three and out for the Broncos offense. Can we put it together with our own offense? I don't know. All right, start from our own 35. We're going to start off with the handoff to Brian Robinson, and we're not going to get a whole lot, if anything. We got one yard there. Okay. RPO bubble to Jahan Dotson. Close to a first down there. We'll take that nice little eight-yard gain. All right, here's the kicker. How are we going to be able to pass today? I don't know. We're going to lob that one up to Terry McClure. Oh, we overshot him. Damn, we actually had him one-on-one -on -one coverage there. We'll look through this screen pass again. We got, we got elite athletes and wide receiver. We need to get them involved. If we got to do it through the screen game, that's what we got to do. But either way, we got to get the ball in their hands. Terry McLaurin. Oh, that is beautiful. The drag route worked seamlessly there. Let's go. Robinson on the first down. Carry got a nice little hole. Breaks the tackle. Gets the first down. Let's go. Brian Robinson. Good start to the day for the running game. All right. They're kind of on the running game. Pretty good here. We're going to try a little play action pass. If we can get something rolling here inside the 10 yard line. Got the tight end. Can we get it? Let's go, baby. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. What a first drive. That is perfect. John Bates, big grab in the back of the end zone right there. First touchdown of the season for Bates. See if we can keep that momentum in our favor here. I need the defense to look good today, boys. Is going to get that one out. Barton. Oh, good tackle. Play action fake here. We got a chance at a pick. Oh, nice breakup. Let's go. Kendall Fuller, beautiful play. Quick third down situation again for the Broncos offense. Let's see if we can come up with another stop here. Another play action. Oh, he's got his tight end all day if he sees him. He didn't see him. We're going to get the stop. Let's go. Fourth and one. They're going to have to punt again. Jamin Davis on the tackle. Keeps Russell Wilson from getting the first down. So we're doing the traffic on first down there. We're going to try to get some Brian Robinson action going here. I need a good block. Man, the offensive line is just not getting up to the second level right now. 39, boys. Come on. Sam. Oh, Sam. No. Oh, my God. I stepped up a little too far in the pocket. I should have stayed back. So far, doing a pretty good job of keeping the offense in check for the Broncos. Hand that one off. Javante Williams again. Another short game. Third and five upcoming. He's got seven yards on three carries. Let's send a little heat off the left side here. See if we can get some pressure on Russell Wilson in the backfield. Not going to get there. He's got all day to throw that. He completes it, but it's going to be short of the marker again. The Broncos, fourth and one. Jerry Judy on the reception there. And they're going to be forced to punt on three straight possessions. I can't let myself get too pass happy because I know it's going to happen. We're going to end up throwing way too many interceptions. The curl combo here. Let's see if we can actually complete one today. Not going to do anything there. Sam Howell's got a lane. Let's go. Get down. That was a very, very fast first quarter. Into the second now. Third and one. We need to pick this up. Let's go. Give me a lane. We'll take it. Tough sled, but we'll take it. Incompletion on first down is going to lead to a second and ten. Gibson, you got to get off of that, sir. Jesus Christ, he got pushed back damn near to where I was. Blink of an eye, we're in a third and ten. Come on, boys. We got to get something going here. I need the offense to start being productive again. Got McLaurin. Oh, my God. I thought we overshot him. What a, what a catch. What a catch. Sling that one out here. It's going to be Jahan Dotson catching a pass for the first down. Nobody out here on this left side. We are immediately going to Brian Robinson. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're, oh, what are we doing? Why didn't you just run the curl? Logan, you sold me, sir. 
he would have just ran the curl on the option route there. First down all day. That was the first first down of the game for the Denver offense that we just hand them back all the momentum. Cody Barton. Oh, is that the TFL we needed? It is not at the line of scrimmage. We just need the one TFL with Barton and we've got the dev upgrade. So full start here on second down is going to back about five yards, second and 15. Dangerous throw by Russ. I don't know what he was looking at there. He's three of seven. This is about what the real life Russell Wilson's looking like right now. Third and 15, we need another big stop, boys. Get this ball back. We had a really good drive. Oh, we got to drive back. Oh, what a hit. I didn't even see it. Montez Sweat. Let's go, baby. Massive sack. He has easily been our best pass rusher through first two games. All right, we got terrific field position to start this drive. We've got to put up points on the board here. The counter block, Brian Robinson. Okay, we'll take that. Five game or five yards. Man, just cannot really find the holes today. Just not there for us. 10 for 31 right now for Brian Robinson. Third and seven coming up for the offense. Did not turn the ball over here. We, At minimum, we got to have the field goal. Might have a first down. Oh, what a pass. Logan Thomas, let's go. I really want Jahan Dotson on this corner route right here. Are we going to be able to get it? I don't know. We're going to take a stab at it. Oh, I'll throw that out of bounds. Damn. Give me that. Give me that. Let's go, Brian Robinson. Let's go. Receiving touchdown for the running back. Oh, my God. That was not the route I was looking to go to at all. But we will take that all day. Second TD pass of the game for Sam Howe. 14-0 pinning the extra point. Let's go, boys. I mean, another PBU. We are all over the receivers today. This is absolutely massive. Kendall Fuller, 3 of 8 to start the game for Russell Wilson. They are just finding nothing right now. Once again, another third down situation, third and 10. Play action fake. He's going to have to throw it away. Fourth and 10, three of 10 on the day for Russell Wilson. My God, I don't know what this defense is, but they showed up today. Oh, we got a, Oh, we got a lane. We got a lane. Kevontae Turpin, his first return for a touchdown in a commander's uniform. Let's go with a punt return for six, baby. Just like that, 21 nothing. My God, this team is on fire right now. I love it. Absolutely love it. The effort I'm seeing from the defensive line right now, getting the push up front, not giving them anything in the run game. I don't know if we're going to see a better performance and a half from our team this year. This is absolutely outstanding. We dump that off to the running back. We're going to get him. Let's go. Fourth and six. They got to punt it again. 2.15 left to go in the half. We're going to get the ball back again. With the chance for more points, this should be pretty decent field position. Let's go, baby. Methodical offense. Let's keep it pushing down the field. Got McLaurin on the slant here. Get him involved. Let's go. Third catch for Scary Terry. We got him again. We got Oh, he didn't hang on to it. Damn, that was a tough play. The safety was watching over the top. I thought we had him. I saw the corner blitz coming. I was all over that. We'll draw play here to Antonio Gibson. Going to be close to a first down. Burn it. Oh, I was going to burn a time out there. Third and two, boys. Let's go. I thought that one over top. That was a lofted pass. That was a bad pass. Sam Howell, no. No, I, that's who I wanted. We just, I think we threw it a little too early. Didn't give the safety enough time to react to a different route. Just kind of lofted that one up there. That's my bad. My bad. I, forgive me, Sam. Forgive me. First pass completed from Russell Wilson right there. He's going to call a timeout. A lot of underneath stuff here. We'll take that. Nothing big over the top. That'll work. They're not going to use the timeouts. They're going to get the first down. They're going to let the time tick. Okay. So I guess it's going to be the last play if they get this off. I don't even know if they're going to run it. What are they going to do? Oh, no. You can't ask for a better first half than that, man. 21-0 lead. Let's go. On the road, too? That is absolutely massive.
Taking a look at our halftime stats here, 10 of 19 for a buck 23 for Sam Howell. The two picks, like I said, one of them was absolutely my fault. I don't even really remember the first one. But two and two on the day for him rushing. We got 32 yards on the ground for Brian Robinson. We're going to try to run the ball a little bit better here in the second half, try to milk some of this time down. We do get the ball first. That is going to be a big thing for us here. So if we can milk a lot of this third quarter, that'd be phenomenal. Getting all the receivers involved today. Terry's got three. Jahan's got three. Logan's got one. Bates has got the touchdown. Curtis has got one. Spread the ball around nicely. That's what you want to see. Well, not a terrific start to the drive here. We tried to run play on first down. Got nothing out of that. Tried a little jet pass on second down and only got four. We need to convert this. Can we get it? Underneath route. Scary Terry. Oh, that was close. Fourth and inches. No, I thought he had it. Damn. That is unfortunate. No way he caught that. No way he caught that. He was all over him. St. Juice was there. Is that Tim Patrick on the grab? Another pre-snap penalty here on second down is going to push him back another five yards. Javante Williams with a false start. Second and 15. Let's go, boys. Do not let him cross the midfield. Oh, he's going to pitch that out. That's a good pitch. Nothing doing, though. A yard on that one, third and 14. Russ having to scramble out. He's got to throw that one away. Let's go. Another fourth down upcoming. 11 of 20 on the day for Russ. Only 82 yards. All right, we need this run game to pick up a little bit here. It has been very, very tough sledding pretty much the entire game. Counterplay here, nothing doing against the linebackers for Denver. have been playing the run game so well. We are not a terrific passing team, so if we cannot establish the run, it's going to be tough for us to hold leads. Throw that one out the... Oh, no! Oh, God! He jumped it. Oh, Sam! We did not need to hand him that kind of momentum right here. That is... Oh... I thought we had the out route. Kareem Jackson was all over that. Oh, we've got to get this running game going. We've got to establish something here on the ground because Jesus Christ, we've got to keep going to the air. We are in trouble. I'm at a point where it's like, okay, even if we have to punt, I still want to run the ball. That's a great run. Brian Robinson, that is absolutely phenomenal. Let's see if we can go back to the play action pass here and get something working. We got Terry. Oh, we're going to throw it out of bounds. Sam, damn it. You're getting just way too loose right now, sir. All right, here we go. Third and four. We need something. God, please let these linebackers blitz. Let me just hit Terry real quick. They're not going to do it, but we're still going to have him anyway. Hang on to it, Terry. Let's go. What a grab. What a grab. He took the hit, came down with the ball. That is beautiful. All right, we're trying to trap play here. We got we to mix something up. The run game is just not working with the dive plays and the counters we need the trap to work traps not really gonna work got a few oh my god pushing the pile close to a first down i really really wanted jahan dots in there but i was not gonna risk that throw to the safety logan thomas big gain right there we'll take nine. Oh, there's no blocking the fullback what, 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 what are we doing drew sanders in the backfield former razorback Third and three. Who's going to make the play for us here? Can we split the safeties? Can Terry get there again? I'm hoping Logan can take the other safety with him. He kind of does. Terry. What the? F How? How? How did he get inside of me there? I mean, I can't be too upset. We came away with points there. 24-7. Can't really ask for much more than that. We're going to take the short stuff all day if he's going to keep giving it to us. We're fine with that. Second and nine. Start of the fourth quarter now. Screen play outside. John Madej. Oh, we oh! <laughs> Javante Williams absolutely just trucked John Davis. Good Lord. Oh, what a PBU. I can't believe we broke that up. I thought sure as hell that was a catch. Are they going to punt here on fourth and one? Are they going to go for it? They're going for it. Yeah, we're at this point in the game. It's going to get a little wild out here. Got to watch Russ on the scrambles. Nope. Going to throw it out there to number 14. I'm not sure. Who, who is 14? Is that Sutton? Yo, we got there so fast with Barton, too. Just got clipped a little bit by the center. Damn. All right, here we got another massive third down for the defense. Can we come up with another stop? 
Oh, user pit, Cody Barton. That's what we needed for the dev upgrade. Oh my God, he's gonna take you to the house. Let's go, Cody freaking Barton. Pretty much just ice this game. Wow. The defense has been absolutely massive today. I gotta be honest, guys. I think we found us a new player here on the defense. Cody Barton in a massive game for him, trying to get the dev upgrade. Has been a complete baller for us. A lot of dinking and dunking here from the Broncos offense. Second and three upcoming. Cody Barton's gonna get off. <laughs> we had a chance. We had a chance. Oh, Portland Sutton over the middle. Oh, it's a good pass. It's a good pass. Another good completion there. Jerry Judy on the catch. Mike McGlinchey down here. Haven't seen a ton of injuries this game. We did have one a little bit earlier. I forget who it was. I think it was uh, Braden Daniels, torn labrum. So we are losing one guy. Oh, didn't want to give up the six. I really didn't. We were cruising today. We're going to go for the two point conversion here. We are sending the blitz. Sending the blitz. Oh, shit. I wanted it with Cody. I really wanted it with Cody. All right, trying for the onside kick here. Come up with it. Jahan Dotson actually had a chance for a return there. There we go. The final whistle is going to sound. 31-13 is going to be the final here. Washington comes into Denver. We get the job done. I got to be honest. I did not think we were going to be able to pull this one out. And to do it in a dominant fashion like that is absolutely huge. We did not have a great game with Sam Howe. No real surprise there. We struggled in the passing game, but we did enough. I mean, he had two touchdowns through the air, 14 of 26. I mean, 53%. You want to see a little better than that. 59.2 QBR. Not great. Three picks did not help him out there. Like I said, the running game until the fourth quarter was not great. 24 for 83 is what Brian Robinson is going to finish with today. So a respectable day there. Five for 29 for Gibson, two for 10 for Hal. Receiving game, six for 91 for Terry McLaurin was massive. Jahan Dotson, three for 28. Two for 19 for Logan Thomas. We had a touchdown from Brian Robinson and John Bates, of all people. Defensively, we're going to be led today by Benjamin St. Juiced and Cody Barton, who we needed massively for the dev upgrade, and we got it done. He did get his TFL. I don't remember getting that. Couple of upgrades coming out of this one. Ricky Stromberg is going to get an upgrade as well as Benjamin St. Juice. We're going to uh, put that towards Agile for Stromberg. It's going to put him up to 70 overall. Plus three to pass block finesse, plus one to run block finesse. The St. Juice will put that to man to man, get the scheme fit, rocking with him up to 75 overall. Now we're going to get a plus two to awareness, plus two to man coverage, and plus one to tackling. Love to see that from your slot corner. Man, I mean, I just, I'm blown away by the game today. I cannot believe how well we played. And on the road at that, to go on the road and blow a team out. There it is, Cody Barton. We're gonna get the dev upgrade with him. Up to star dev now for the middle linebacker. So we really wanted to upgrade the linebacking core. Honestly, that dev upgrade is going to be massive for him. He was somebody that we were looking at possibly replacing come draft time, maybe free agency going into next year. But with that upgrade, I think we might be looking to hang on to him and really start to develop him as the leader in the middle of this defense. Unfortunately, we did pick up another injury in that game. Braden Daniels did go down with the torn labrum. He's out for four weeks. Emmanuel Forbes is apparently out. I forgot he was out in, uh, he got hurt in practice going into that game. So he didn't even play that in this game. And we still balled out the way we did. But on the bright side, he should be back next week. Charles Leno will be back next week. We are in pretty good shape going forward. Buffalo is going to be a tough one, man. It is going to be a very difficult game. Josh Howell and that offense, man, they're going to look to put it on us here. Like I said, we played really great defensively this week. We need that to carry over home next week. Get a win at home in front of the faithful. They deserve it. But that'll put a wrap on week two here. We're going to get out with the dub, guys. I will see y'all in week number three for the Buffalo matchup. I will catch y'all in the next video. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. If you like the video, leave a like on it. If you have not hit the subscribe button yet, go on do that for you, boy, one time. I much appreciate it. Other than that, I will catch y'all in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Take it easy. Peace.